एक्सेंट अच्छा है द टीचर आस्ट वेर डज गॉड लिव अ फिफ्टी नो आई एम सॉरी आई एट यूर ओल्ड गर्ल without the fire <laughs> an 8 year old girl stood up and said god lives in the bathroom the teacher said what god lives in the bathroom how are you saying this i don't know teacher every day in the morning my father goes and bangs on the bathroom and said god you're still there <laughs> This happened in New Zealand. There was a young lady who had blonde hair. Oh, anybody blonde, blonde, blonde? <laughs> no, I'm not joking about the blondes. I'm just… she had blonde hair. One day she decided that she will dye her hair jet black. and she did just that and then she was driving on the countryside and then a shepherd was having his whole flock cross the street or the road and she stopped and she looked at the all the sheep you know when they all together guli 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 you seen that one When they're all together, they're going. And uh, she looked at that, and she was very fascinated. And she called the shepherd. He came, and he said, "See, if I guess how many sheep you have in your flock, can I have one?" He laughed and said, "By all means, how can you guess?" She. One thousand three hundred and thirty-two. I said, how did you guess this? That's the number I have. Lala, it doesn't matter, you have to give me one. Can I choose? You can choose, he said. So she went and picked up one and put it in the car. Then the shepherd said, If I can guess what is the original color of your hair <laughs> If I can guess what is the original color of your hair can I have my dog back <laughs> Once happened, Shankar and Pillai went to New York City, got into a taxi, and the taxi driver was driving to a certain destination. Being an Indian who's just landed in America, he wants to talk to everybody. Well, after all, we're Indian. So, taxi driver, he started talking, 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 and then taxi driver also opened up. and then when the destination came nearby he wanted him to stop so he put his hand in that small opening and touched him on the shoulder i want to stop here the taxi driver jumped out of his skin lost control over the car and went and hit a tree and went up the tree and stopped like this and shankar and pillai had a bleeding nose and he said what what did i do why did you just jump like this i just wanted you to stop he said you don't understand last 32 years i have been driving a hersey <laughs> never ever my customers ever <laughs> did this 
that is, you know, uh, he's been working for an undertaker. His customers are always dead and today when the customer touches him on the shoulder, he lost it. And most human beings are living like this, they're jumpy about everything because they're living with the dead. If you live with yesterday, you are living with the dead. This happened. In the first week of January, Shankaran Pillai got arrested for having broken into a dress shop. Then the judge looked at the case and said, What? You broke into the same dress shop four times? Wow, who, what kind of fool would do that? So Shankaran Pillai said, Judge, first time I broke into the thing, I took a dress for my wife, but it was a bit large and she got really mad with me. Am I this big? Go get me a right size. So second time I went, broke into the store and got a zero size. It wouldn't go. So she felt insulted, you got me a, you know, a child size kind of dress and just to insult me. Then the third time I went and I got the right size, but she didn't like the color. So fourth time I went and I got caught. <laughs>
Joshua Goldberg was a Vietnam veteran in America, in New York City. One day, he ordered for pizza and a Chinese boy came to deliver the pizza. He took the pizza, paid him the money and punched him in the face. So the boy fell down backwards. Then he got up with a bloody nose and he said, why did you do that? He said, that's for Vietnam. <laughs> he said, I am not Vietnamese, I'm Chinese. So Joshua Goldberg said, Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, they're all same to me. So the boy gathered himself and went. Later on, after having eaten his pizza, he was taking his bull mastiff for a walk. There's a law in New York City, if your dog poops, you have to pick it up. So his dog pooped on the street, he bent down to pick it up, pick it up. The Chinese boy came from behind and kicked him in his backside. So he went down, face down on the dog poop. Then he got up and asked, you idiot, why did you do this to me? The boy said, that's for Titanic. <laughs> said, you idiot, what do I have to do with Titanic? Goldberg, Spielberg, Iceberg, they're all same to me <laughs>